you're here at last welcome back to my channel guess what Juvia's Place launched two blush palettes and the world went crazy including me before I continue Juvia's thank you very much for the press package I am forever grateful and I'm here my loves to give you an unboxing to give you a review to give you a swatch as well as a makeup tutorial so without any further ado let's open up so the Saharan family is expanding with, guess what, twins, a boy and a girl. <laughs> These are the fabulous two blush palettes. She had blush palette volume one for deeper, darker skin tones. And then she had blush palette two for fairer, lighter skin tones. I also got in the package beautiful nine piece brush set. Let me just open this up. Her brushes are to die for. I use the angled brush every single day because I just get such a fabulous precision. And these were the yummy, yummy colors. Colors. they're on her website I love the color just look at it it's the color of mint I adore it and of course we've got like a face brush we've got like a contour brush and we've got all of these wonderful seven as a matter of fact eye brushes for various details for the eyes beautiful thank you so 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 very much Juvia's please and she didn't stop there I feel as if she knew it was my birthday last month so she was kind of making up for it <laughs> oh god and this is the five piece brush set fabulous as you can see you've got the contour and then you've got these beautiful eye detail brushes and let me just double check the price here 25 pounds there you go beautiful baby pink so much fun to do your makeup in these fabulous colors love 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 these thank you so much Juvia's please these were unexpected so thank you so very much thank you then I am going to go into the blush palette number one, yeah? And behind it, you see it's got the beautiful Saharan princess here, and it says the Saharan blush volume one. And then at the back, you've got all the details. And it says, the Saharan blush palette embodies a meticulously formulated array of colors to captivate facial structures with a flush of richly pigmented colors to make you a true Saharan. Amen, sister, amen. So let us open it. Their packaging is amazing. Just look, you've got the foam right here so that just keeps it protected and the palettes are never broken. Never, never, never. And as you open it, you've got the Saharan goddess right there. Isn't she beautiful? And then you take this out and these are all of the colors right here. Absolutely beautiful. Just look. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of detail, right? So we have 27 grams total. We have six pans, so that comes to 4.5 grams per each pan. It is $18 for the blush palette. If you divide that by six, that comes down to $3. So it's $3 for 4.5 grams, which is fantastic. It's also cruelty free. I think that is such a great importance when you're talking about brands and products these days. People really want to know. This blush palette is amazing. It says that it's multi-purpose, as in that you can contour with this palette, you can use it as a blusher, you can use it as an eyeshadow, which is 100 110% correct and I also added to it because I use this color right here which is called lila as a highlighter now I'm going to read off something off of the website to just give you the detailed description of each blush palette yeah okay the Saharan volume one blush palette is the ultimate all-in-one palette fun fact the Saharan Blush Volume Palette can be used as a blush, as I said, a contour and an eyeshadow palette. Skin tone details. Darker skin tone works beautifully as a contour, as an eyeshadow, as well as a blush palette. For medium to lighter skin tones, it works beautifully as an eyeshadow palette. 
used with caution due to the high pigmentation of colors a little goes a long way with these blushes i used abby to contour my face today it is the richest warmest brown i have across the board it just pulls your face together and you're going to see this in the makeup tutorial further down it was just beyond an amazing on my eyelids i have toby because i thought of this theme let me have the saharan sunset so my eyelids is all sahara now let me go on to the next palette okay Doo -doo -doo -doo. the same thing gorgeous this is new i love this color this color is so very pretty it's almost like a creamy tan and it has the same description in the back open it up it has a film so let me just take that out and then you have the beautiful Saharan woman right there. And these are the colors. I fell in love with all of them and I was amazed at the pigmentation of Tao and Lena. In this palette right away, I just saw highlighter, blusher, and I love this Yara as a very fabulous neutral eyeshadow in my lid space. Absolutely divine. This one had all four. I had the contour, I had the blusher, I had the eyeshadows, and I had the highlighter. Multi-purpose galore. As you can see, this is for deeper skin tones and this one is for lighter skin tones. Very pigmented, the both of them. And as far as I am concerned, you can use both. Now, let us do some swatches, shall we? So we're going to start with the first blusher palette, volume one, and I'm going to show you what this swatches looks like on Ula. Ula also volunteered his arm. No, I twisted it. <laughs> just for you guys to see what it looks like on very very fair skin tones the first color is called zara and it's a gorgeous metallic gold color neo is the next one and that's more of us like a terracotta very creamy it applies so smoothly and the payoff is beyond amazing Lila is also a highlighter s kind of color that I absolutely love. Then we've got Zane, and for me, that's my fuchsia pink. That's my hot, hot, hot pink. Then we've got Toby, which is lovely orangey yellow, and then we have Abby. And Abby to me is just that deep brick red brown so gorgeous so sexy okay so we're going to blush palette volume two and the first up is yara love this color super duper neutral shola is like a pink blush highlighter ah i die tau beautiful it's a toned down orange bordering on terracotta eskish then we've got bay and bay is so interesting it's a mauve and it's opaque zoba is gorgeous zoba is everything i use this on the high points of my brow i used it on my lips i mixed it with shola yum 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 then we've got lena and lena is almost like a flamingo pink gorgeous on light skin tones also pretty on darker skin tones but it really pops off on lighter skin tones and there you have it guys these are the palettes so without any further ado we're going to go straight into the makeup tutorial after the tutorial i'm going to sum it all up and we are going to find out whether these palettes are fdv approved or not <laughs> i'll see you in a bit so I'm going to go with my Jumbo NYX pencil in milk and I'm just going to give my entire lid a fabulous base. Yes. Oh, oh, I love my oh, pencil. Well, that's making me laugh. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my Nubian one, the one that started it all and my first love. And I'm going to go in with this color right here and that's going to be my transition, yes. And then we're going to take the Saharan blush palette, number one, and we are going to go in with Abby and I'm going to use this as a fabulous transition. And once you've got that going, we're going to go into the Saharan palette and we're going to use Beautiful Chad just to deepen the crease and give it that shape. And remember to wing it out because it's a cut crease, okay? And then with my Ellie Girl Pro Conceal, 
I'm just going to three saute cut crease. Then I'm going to go in with the blusher palette volume one and I'm going to go with Toby. I love Toby so much, such a rare color. As a shadow, as a blusher, as an anything, it's very rare to see this gorgeous color anywhere. So we're going to use this on our lid space. Then I'm going to go with the blusher palette volume two and we are going to go in with this color here called Zoba. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with Chad, and this is from the Saharan palette. Yes, yeah, staying with the theme here. And we're just going to trace out that cut crease a little bit more so that it can be a little bit sharper. <laughs> Then I'm going to go with the Saharan gel liner that I love so very much and we're going to do a fabulous wing. And then I'm using the color creature from Colourpop Cosmetics and I'm just going to put this in my under eye and my waterline. Then I'm going to go in with Zoba. And I'm going to put this right in the high point of my brow bone. And of course, this is the blush palette volume number two. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like that. And I'm going to use the color Shola in the tear ducts. And there you have it, darlings. I'm going to put on mascara and my lashes, and I'll be right back. And lashes are on, my loves. I used Isla. I used Isla Exaggerate 149 and Isla Deluxe Galant. I'm going to put all of the details downstairs in the description box for you guys, so not to worry. But I used double stacked Isla, two different types. Yes, for, for the drama, darlings. Yes. All right, this is a fun part. We are going to contour. And I am going to use the Saharan Palette Volume 1. And this is the color I am going to use right here. And it is called Abbey. And we're going to contour with this. Such a yummy color. And then we're going to go in with Zane from the blush palette one. Love it. Oh, I die. Why are you so good to me, Juvias? What have I done to deserve such kindness? Then Lila is going to be my highlighter. Beauty blenders just give me that lovely finish. And I love it. This look. I can just roll it on. And I put some on my nose as well. Oh. And I'm going to use a beautiful lipstick by Estee Lauder called Blushing Cream. And then I'm going to use this color right here, Shola, just to touch up my lips. And I'm going to use Urban Decay All Nighter. And we're just going to spritz this baby. And there you have it, darlings. This is my Saharan sunset look in homage to the beautiful Saharan blushes that launched this weekend. It's such a gorgeous look. You can wear it out to those wonderful, beautiful evenings, date night. It is so gorgeous. 
love, 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 love. I have been to Dubai and I loved it when we went out to the sand dunes. It was so, so beautiful, so, so gorgeous. So I mentally had an idea of what the Saharan would be like. On top of which, when I was younger, I went to school in the north, in Nigeria, yes. I went to FGC Mina and that's in the north. So I really have a complete understanding of this Saharan series, 110%. It is so beautiful. And so this was my story in homage to the new blush palettes. All right, let me sum it all up for you and let me tell you what I think. Yeah. For the price, it is amazing. The pigmentation, OMG. As you can see with the swatches, a multi-purpose, it's almost like an everything put in your bag and go because the pigmentation is fire. As blushes, as highlighters, as lip toppers, as well as shadows. But that was not what gripped my heart. And I'm going to say it. Juvia's place, I bow. I bow to you. You understand the consumer because you are the consumer. Because you have put yourself in our space. And when you walk into a beauty store, you want to find something for your complexion. That is one. You are the only one who has done this wonderfully. The second one, which just, I was floored. You brought out two palettes to embody your customers because we are kind of the very light and the dark. And nobody has done that. Not one brand. Not Chanel, not Lancome, not L'Oreal, not Estee Lauder, not Fashion Fair. Because you see, we have to be fair. It's not that it's a Caucasian brand and so, oh, what about the sisters? Even the sister brands have not come out with makeup for their Caucasian sisters. You did. I bow. That was genius. But above all, it shows that you are so in tune with your customers and you understand that we need. And that is why they are sold out every two seconds because she's a businesswoman that cares about all women. That touched my heart. I'm in a mixed marriage. So I will always be conscious of my Caucasian sisters. Always, always have, always will, because my husband is white. You understand? And that it stops right there. The rest is love and we all bleed red. Who cares? She got the memo. So, to sum it all up, is this Ula? FTV approved. Absolutely, it is FDV approved, honey. The rent can wait. The groceries buy the necessities. Get these palettes. They're a must have. Congratulations to Juvia's Place. Thank you so very much again. And I will see you guys in the next episode. All my love. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>